to the African-American community. Well, he reached out to the African-American community. And that was Rudy Giuliani this morning on the Sunday morning talk shows. He was talking about the birther movement, of course, those people that had questioned the origin of President Obama's birth. Let's bring in Paris Denard. He is a Republican political consultant, former advisor to President George W. Bush, and former White House director of Black Outreach. Um, Paris, your thoughts. Do you think that Donald Trump should apologize if he's going to make any significant headway with black voters? I think the idea that uh, members of my community are somehow sitting around the kitchen table and wondering, hmm, if Don, did Donald Trump, should he apologize because of raising legitimate questions about uh, the birth certificate of uh, President Obama? That's not the main issue today. That's not what's on the minds of the people in my community. We're focused on jobs, unemployment, educational system, and things that are really going to move our country and more specifically our community forward so that we can have more of uh, what he talks about as making America great again for everyone. So I just don't think this is a so, real issue that's going to move the needle as it relates to moving the African-American vote, getting him at the 8 percent where he is now up to, to higher percentages by but November. Paris, look, you say that it was a legitimate issue. It's not a legitimate issue. Let's be real. Come on. And if and, and this was something that was started by Donald Trump well, back in the day, it could be something that if he were to apologize, people would say, all right, you know, I'm capable of apology. I have a change of heart. I realize that it was wrong to put so much into this birther movement. Don't you think well, that would go a long way to help you as you want him to do? You want Donald Trump to increase from this 8% rate right now of, of African-American yeah. vote. I mean, wouldn't that help? Absolutely, I want him to increase in that 8% rate. And I, and I believe that, you know, if truth be told, it was Hillary Clinton and the Clinton campaign in 08 who started this whisper campaign about uh, President Obama. But at the end of the day, what's going to help move the needle is are the policies and, and, and the positions of Mr. Trump as it relates to our community. This And having all these, look, should, would it help if Tim Kaine apologized, Governor Kaine apologized for what he said about KKK values? Would it help if Secretary Clinton apologized for calling uh, Mr. Trump a racist, a bigot, and all the things that are unsubstantiated, I don't think that's going to move the needle. What's, what people are concerned about today are the issues at hand that are affecting our community. And I think this issue is just a distraction to the fact that Mr. Trump had a very good week while he was engaging with the black community. She, Secretary Clinton was out fundraising. She spent 274 and days not talking to the, to the press. Mr. <laughs> Trump was engaging with the, the Mexican government and, and talking about his 10-point plan to uh, curb illegal immigration. And he was, so, had a, a continued engagement with the African-American community. And that's a positive thing. This is just a sideshow. So, so Paris, I do want to take issue, uh, and certainly there is one poll that you cite, by the way, when you say that Donald Trump has a support of 